can never forget you. You have been the backbone of the NDC. Many of you have suffered for your support for the NDC. The least that I can do is to show my appreciation for your support. My brothers and sisters, the signs are clear. Ghanaians say they don't want to move forward with corruption. They don't want to move forward with cocaine. They don't want to move forward with arrogance. They don't want to move forward with economic hardship. They don't want to move forward with a divided country. They want to move in a different direction. Yes, it's simple. Yes, it's simple. Yes, it's simple. My brothers and sisters, there is unfinished business. We started a lot of things, but the NDP government did not continue. They made all kinds of promises. Now, they can't fulfill them. People associated with the NDP government are now coming to tell you what they are going to do. Ask them, for the eight years, why didn't they do those things? Coming to elections, they are coming to bribe you with your own money which they have stolen. Yes, I'm saying they've stolen because how can somebody in eight years, how much do they pay them? Look at the amount of money that they are spreading around. And yet, many of our people have kept quiet. Let's ask questions. The resources of the nation belong to all of us, not to a select few. We have a country in which some are wondering whether they belong or not. While a few people are enjoying their ill-gotten and obscene wealth, the majority of our people are wallowing in poverty. They can't pay school fees. You can't pay water bill. You can't pay electricity bill. You can't pay for transportation. What is this? And yet, they tell you the economy is doing very well. My brothers and sisters, why insult the intelligence of Ghanaians? If the economy were doing well, wouldn't Ghanaians feel it? Wouldn't you feel it? Does it need somebody to come and tell you that you are living well? No. My brothers and sisters, in our country now, falsehood, falsehood has become the order of the day. Any society that is built on falsehood will not last. Any society that is built on arrogance will not last. Any society that is built on selective justice will not last. Any society that is built on discrimination and victimization will not last. My brothers and sisters, we have been in the wilderness for eight years, but I tell you, God's time is the best and God's time is now. There's going to be a difference. I am going to lead a government which will promote honesty, which will promote inclusiveness, which will promote probity, which will promote transparency and which will deal drastically with corruption. I will set myself as an example. I will not allow any party member of mine. I will not allow any of my appointees to engage in corruption. If they should so do, I will make sure that investigation is conducted. And when the report comes, I will let the law take its course. Because my brothers and sisters, when we talk about corruption, President Kufu is saying, as a male sister lawyer, you should give evidence. I'm telling President Kufu, in 2000, when he was shouting from the rooftop that NDC were corrupt, when he was minded to use the phrase, zero tolerance for corruption, where was his evidence? But I'm saying that in our case, the evidence is there. His own party chairman told us that sometimes he would go to President Kufo and he would fill his car boot with kickbacks. He said so. Look at the allegations, sometimes by their own people. The reports are there, 
and I'm sure Ghanaians, I speak for a lot of you. I'm sure there are people here who have been victims of corruption. You only can speak up for fear of victimization. People have come to me. When we talk about corruption, what about the Transparency International? Are there reports fake? My brothers and sisters, the time will come when the lid will be lifted. We begin to see who are the principal actors. My brothers and sisters, Ghanaians have made up their money and they are going to return Atamils and NBC back into power. But this constituency, I can assure you, we will continue with what we started. And you will have somebody who will represent you with our full support and encouragement. That is Honorable Lasse. Please don't allow them to give you your own money to vote for them. Okay. But my brothers and sisters, at the end of the day, we want a united Ghana. At the end of the day, we want a peaceful Ghana. At the end of the day, we want a Ghana with the good Lord himself for bless. Let us be vigilant. Let us be vigilant. Let nobody attempt to break the rules. And I know that if the elections are conducted in a free, fair and transparent manner, NBC will win. I want to make a solemn pledge on behalf of NDC, we in NDC have invested in peace. We have spent money, time, effort, press in ensuring that there is peace in the country. President Kufu was not the one who introduced peace and stability. He came to meet it. He came to meet it. Therefore, we have a lot to lose if there is no peace and stability. I'm promising NDC will not do anything that will disturb the peace and security that we have in this country. Let all the other leaders also make the same pledge that my brothers and sisters, you will not have peace if you only talk about peace. There is something that you have to do. Peace goes with truth. Peace goes with transparency. Peace goes with sincerity. Peace goes with matching your actions with the words that you utter. Let us pray to the Almighty that you will open our eyes. He will give us wisdom. He will touch our hearts so that we put Ghana first. Let us all mean what we say that God should bless our homeland Ghana and make our nation great and strong. My brothers and sisters, this is Atamils talking to you. I'm not dead and I, I won't be dead for a long time. <laughs> the good Lord, the good Lord is my doctor. But it looks as if there are many people in NPP who have become my doctors. But I tell them, my doctor is greater than any doctor on earth. My brothers and sisters, I wish you well. We will never turn our back on you. And I know that the good Lord is going to shower us with his abundant blessings. Thank you and bless you.